I know. I know. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, another sterling start to the exponential files. Did you know that we are the only EXP show that promotes exceptional EXP agents? The Exponential Files is a half hour show helping you understand how to be as great as our guests are. Our guest today um, is uh, Steve, Steve, not uh, Steven, uh, Asadorian. Uh, I actually practiced that. You Did are. You? It wasn't so bad. Asadorian. Asadorian. Yeah. Yeah. As a Dorian, it's it's a it's a great name. Uh, Steve works in the Nashville area. He has a number of really great properties that he's going to share with us, and a project that he's working on. He his secret sauce. We always talk about what makes agents great. Every single agent comes from a different background. Uh, Steve is all music. You were a Disney guy. You were in a uh, talk a little bit about your background. Sure. Yeah. Well, after college, I really didn't know what the heck I was going to do, even though I had an exercise science degree. I thought I was going to go down the physical therapy road, but I always had this guitar actually right here uh, in my back pocket and did it for fun. And long story short, it kind of took over and it became a career for me. So, yes, I lived in Florida for a long time and, and worked for Mickey Mouse. Um, happened to be a, a decent enough singer to, to get in there in their shows, actually sang in The Lion King. Uh, there at Disney for many years, which was a, an amazing experience for me. Um, and then as things progressed, um, I joined a group called Rockapella. And you may be familiar with Rockapella from the TV show called Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego? It's uh -huh. famous in the, I would say, early to mid 90s. That's kind of when it got its uh, more national fame. And Rockapella has been around ever since. The guys have turned over every few years, I would say, or maybe every 10 years. Um, and in 2010, when I was there at Lion King, I auditioned for that show uh, for Rockapella, and and I got it. Uh, so that Sweet. turned into six years of traveling Sweet. with them, and um, just been a blessing. Allowed me to move here to Nashville, and I've been here ever since since about 2012, writing music and and uh, doing the Nashville thing. But um, that also led me to real estate. So and then we can certainly get into that. Well, in so, real estate, they say you do have to sing for your supper, but you actually can. Uh, I guess, that's yeah, cool. I was going to be able to ask Steve to give us an intro better than the sounds of the universe. Oh, we could have done it. Although that was pretty cool. I have to say, I hear those, yeah. I got to check those sounds out. I, I hear it's coming from Uranus, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> it actually, not, that, that, not mine, Okay, okay. <laughs> but Larry's, uh, is that a Martin? This is a Taylor behind me, a Taylor 710. Um, and this one over here is a classic Gibson actually. That was given to me recently by a family member that unfortunately he passed away. Um, but I'm going to have my two-year-old son learn on, on this Gibson when he gets old enough. This is going down to him. Um, You're actually guitar, inspiring right? me. I think I'm going to build a wall because I have a 52 gold top Les Paul. I've got a lot of guitars. I, oh, I, should, man. Put, I should put them up behind me. They make great Zoom backgrounds. Yeah. That is good. And, and including, I hope you include your first instrument. Uh, Jim, so my accordion. Could, your accordion's got to be back there somewhere, like holding, like <laughs> rrr, 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 rrr. my quarter box. I sold the quarter box many years ago. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So I, I, I think these things uh, make uh, people say that agents are all the same. They are not. There's no agent that's the same. In fact, I want to jump on that thought just for a second. Um, I, I do a lot of agent attraction and uh, spent a lot of time uh, explaining what I brought to the party uh, to an agent. Um, I think he was in North or South Carolina, uh, North Carolina. And he went with his cousin's friend's sister-in-law or something like that. And, and, and I asked him, did you get this? Did you get this? And he didn't know if he got any of it. And of course, he, I'm sure he didn't. We're almost 85,000 agents, and most other agents don't understand EXP, and I'm not even sure every EXP agent understands everything about EXP, but we're almost like 85,000 different companies. Don't treat every EXP agent the same in your mind because they're not only are they all, all different, but they all have different things to offer 
buyers, sellers, other agents, teams, whatever, and and do your homework. It's it really is something where people should be educated. I that's, think that's I, the thought of the day. Yeah. So um, uh, let's go to your properties, uh, Steve. Here, let me share my screen here. Great. Um, and share that bad boy, and get over to participants can see my screen. You want oh, to talk great. about this prop property? This is uh, absolutely. Where yes. is it? So, so we're located. I, I'm located in the greater Nashville area, so that's what I cover. This particular listing is in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Sits about 40 minutes south of downtown Nashville. Um, this particular neighborhood is called Forest Ridge. Um, the house was built in 2020, so it's a new build. Um, the particular owners are decided, have decided to build an, a new property, more of their dream house. So we have this one listed right now. It's listed at 620. It, it's four bedrooms. It's three full bathrooms. It is about 2,800 square feet. So it's a beautiful listing. It's got a corner lot, um, a great fenced-in backyard, as you saw from that that previous picture so it's ready it's it's clean it's fresh it is ready for a new owner to come in and check it out so is this a movie questions? theater is this a movie theater yeah, i consider that a bonus room and they have it set up as a as a movie theater room or a theater room so media to room media room yeah um but it's got great touches like there in the, the cabin tree in the laundry room and the tiled shower right there that's a, a first floor owner suite as well so um, it's got, I feel it's got everything that somebody might be looking for in a modern house if they want to be in the Nashville market. Um, so it is a, it is a beautiful one. So it's listed at 620 again. And if somebody has a buyer for it, please send how them. How many bedrooms, there. how many baths? Yeah, it's four bedrooms and, and three full baths. Those are quartz countertops right there. Open concept. As you can see, there is a front office by that front door. There is a separate office with French doors. So it does have that privacy. So are basements common in your area? They are not actually. Uh, the Tennessee, the Nashville area in general is built on um, hard limestone. <laughs> so everything, almost everything is built either on a slab or on a crawl space. So they build up. A lot of people that come from the Northeast or, or in the Midwest, they may be used to basements. And people ask me that question all the time. Where's the basement in this house? Well, they build you a bonus room on top instead of a basement below. So I, this uh, is definitely on a slab. Hey, Steve, I, I, I have a question here. Uh, yes. Those three cars, let me guess, there's the agent, the guy who's running the drone, the guy or the girl who's running. Who's the third car? Whose car is that? <laughs> the truck? I think that might be the owner. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, why everybody's home. Anyway. Everybody's well, I, have, I have a I have a few questions. So, okay, if, if you go back, yeah, let's let's look at that for a second. So you have a fenced in area, or in that particular neighborhoods, and, and I see even the house behind them, where the fence doesn't go all the way out, you know, close to the street or even to the street. Are yeah. there setbacks where you're not allowed? You know, is there, there are a, setbacks, but it's not to those fence lines. The setback, I believe, is ten feet. So, you know, the owner still so had, had more space. Yeah, still yeah, has they saved money on the on the extra fencing. Absolutely. But the, but the other question is, somebody must have a basement somewhere. And I'm thinking in order to get a basement, you have to what blast to, to get uh, either get that, that or there? you would build you could potentially build sort of into the earth, if you will. So like on a slope of some kind, you could build a lower level finish out that basement. I will say that some houses do have basements here. I'm not going to say a 100% don't, but these new construction in particular typically do not have basements. We oh, can so find it, older houses in the area that do. Um, it, but it's a, it's a slab. It's a slab. This is definitely a slab. Yeah. Okay. So let me get that out of the way. So that's 1448 Dauburn in Murfreesboro. Whoop. Okay. Yeah. And um, so let's, uh, I think that's this cool. Is... I've never seen that that done before, the black and white and the color. That's really nice. I like yeah, that. my photographer, man, man, he does a great job with the drone and, and highlighting our well, listings for sure. Yeah, let me get to this yeah. one. And well, I'm going backwards because- uh, That's okay. This is a, a nice new, a new nice property. Effect. This is a beautiful property. Um, this is in a neighborhood called Angler's Retreat. Again, it is in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. It's the same city, although it's a different side of that particular city. Uh, this house was built in 2019. 
Again, it's almost the same square footage, about 2,700 square feet, four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, um, a great fenced in backyard, as you see right there. This house has an outdoor fireplace, as you can see from that particular picture. That's a wood burning fireplace. Um, so that's a nice feature for this one. That's hardy board on the siding. It's not vinyl. Um, so that's hardy board. It, it's a beautiful house, 2019 build. Um, as you can see, nice features inside. This one has a little bit more, um, I would say, texture and upgrades to it as far as trim work and um, you'll see you downstairs in the kitchen when we get there but this is I, the bonus from upstairs i like the hobby horse in there with the other you know, <laughs> so everybody yeah. gets to work out yeah this is a family house for sure you'll see some yeah kids room right here man i don't want to move that bed that's a heavy <laughs> no, one no but i would lay in that bed and shoot hoops at night that's what keep me awake yeah yeah <laughs> anyway huh? right my yeah. son when we took these pictures my son came with us and he had a blast in that particular room. <laughs> well, I had to go back in and pick up all the toys after. We're of done. course. Of course. <laughs> yeah. But the, again, Murfreesboro sits about 40 minutes south of downtown Nashville. This particular house is listed at 650, a uh, little bit of a higher priced home for the area. Um, but it is in that neighborhood. Wow, that look at this. It. Yeah, nice features in this house. That's that a, separate is it. this a kid's closet or is this the hers and hers closet? Uh, I think this is the hers and hers closet for sure. Yeah, it okay. is. This is mama's closet. Yeah. But just nice touches throughout this particular house. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah. So the closet is right off the bathroom, which is nice. It is. And this again is on the main floor, this bathroom. And you see great trim work, granite countertop, separate tub. And how uh, much for this house? This is six fifty. This oh. is six fifty. Yeah. Yeah. And it's again brand new. Pretty new, I will say. Twenty. This one's a 2019. Build. In our area, you don't even get the land for that price. Right. right. I know. Right. I think that's why people are coming down here to Tennessee. Right. Good pricing. Nice place to call home. I'll say Nashville in general. Nashville in general. Good, it's a, well. It's a really great place to call home. There, there's so yeah. much to do. You still have seasons. I know people. We're, we're technically considered the South, but we still get a taste of every season. Have a yeah. great fall, have a little taste of winter. Of course, the summer is hot, but it only lasts for about three or four months. It's not like Florida. You know? <laughs> three or four months. Yeah. It sounds like a lot of time. Our summer lasts three or four days. There you go. <laughs> you know, I grew up in that area in Massachusetts, so I know it very well. Really? Uh, UMass, you, you a part? proud UMass Amherst grad. That's right. What, what part of Massachusetts? I grew up in the Worcester area. The hometown is Northbridge, just south okay. of Worcester. Yeah, but went to school at UMass, played baseball there. You know, Red Sox fan. You know, Larry and I were laughing earlier living in the South. They call us Yankees. And we first heard that term. I said, I'm not a Yankee. I'm a Red Sox. You know, <laughs> I'm no Yankee. Exactly. Now I understand what a Yankee is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But this particular it's house, man, it's beautiful. It's looking for a new owner as well. These folks are, are um, building also building their dream home. So another new building. Yeah. That's a nice way of putting it also. I'll have to, I'm taking notes here, Steve. Oh, well, good. I, look, looking go. for a new owner. That's that's it. Looking for a new owner. Somebody to come in and put their touch on it. Or to make uh, it their own. They could make and it. And how old is this house? It looks like it's no more than it's a couple 2019, years old. 2019. 2019 build. Okay. Yeah. So it's only a couple of years old and they have kept it in immaculate condition immaculate condition i it's like really... uh porches i'm a big porch fan yeah me too me too and it's it, that neighborhood in particular anglers retreat um you, you can kind of see from the drone pictures all the houses are different in that neighborhood they're it's not a cookie cutter neighborhood they're not right on top of each other um so it really is a and it's a great location yeah um, some big houses there too wow yeah uh, awesome. so what do you have uh septic there so that little green thing that you see, it's called a step system. Um, septic tank effluent pump is what it stands for, step. And it's basically a, a pump that's there in the ground and it, it pumps out to the city line at the main road. So this particular neighborhood, it was a farm, you know, in, in years ago. So instead of running the city lines in there, they put the step systems in for each home that pumps, the, um, pumps it out there to the street. To the main city line so it's not a septic tank okay so so the the line is higher hmm. okay 
Yeah, it's interesting. Called the yeah. step system. Yeah. And this uh, is for, you know, was this I've property staged? It was is this not. This is this is the, the way they live. This is them. Yeah. This is them. This yeah. is the owner's I, house and their stuff. I, uh, um, as you know, I was a commercial photographer for many years, and I did shoot for um, Architectural Digest. This is a great picture. Look how the color is kind of consistent from edge to edge. That yellow is really yeah. nice. Yeah, he did a great job capturing capturing yes. this for us. Um, is he? Did he also do the drone stuff? He did the drone as well, and we yeah. do walkthroughs video on camera agent on camera walkthroughs for us so that's what this particular uh photographer mr nick ride out of ride out media shout out to you nick there um, you go nick yeah he he does a great job for us and he's very reasonable with his pricing perfect uh yeah. you also are working on a project and this is one of the uh, benefits of being an exp agent you can work on different things in different states before we get to your new project could you for a moment talk about um your your group uh uh the nashville home squad and oh, what absolutely. states are in and what that what's that about yeah, so Nashville Home Squad is, is a team here in the greater Nashville area, and we've actually expanded recently into Cookville, which is about an hour and a half east, and also to Knoxville, which is on the east side of the state. So not only do we have agents um, here in Nashville, which are six of us, we also have now one in Cookville and one in Knoxville. So we are now eight agents strong <laughs> as of this month. Um the Home Squad is a larger group. I run a satellite office here in Nashville. Um, the Home Squad in general is originally out of Orlando, Florida. And we have teams in Orlando, Jacksonville, Louisville, Kentucky, uh, Nashville, and uh, New Jersey, <laughs> outside of New Jer in New Jersey. <laughs> and, I, mentioned, I mentioned earlier, all towns and one state. One whole state, yes. One whole um, state. But, but the home squad was founded by Mark Rawmaker, who is a, you know, we're considered a mega icon team within EXP's world. Um, we've done a, a, a good, a great amount of business and reached mega icon status as of last month. And we're about what, seven, we were about seven months into the year at that Con point. Congratulations. So, um, that's not a, so that's not a small deal. No, it's not. And, and we're really proud of that. We, we really focus on our, our branding, of course, and if you go to NashvilleHomeSquad.com, you'll see that branding. You'll see it here on my shirt. Um, but we really focus on social media presence. We focus on our videos, as you can see from, you'll see here from the one we're about to show you. Um, and and we, we, do a lot of, we do a lot of promotion for our listings. It's not just put the pictures on, which you, you just have seen. So, so, um, so let's get to this project. We'll just have a yeah. few seconds. Sure. So this particular project is in Whitesville, Kentucky, which is Welcome just outside. Welcome to Lakewood Valley right here in Whitesville, Kentucky. There you go. Hi, I'm Kyle Henry, and we are in a beautiful slice of Kentucky heaven, Ohio County, the birthplace of Mr. Bill Monroe, founder of Bluegrass Music. Now that's something to fiddle on about. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I had to tie that in, right? Yeah, that, yeah. No, that's totally awesome. Um, I love real estate videos. Uh, they're great. And you wrote that, right? I did write that script. And it may be a little cheesy like this, the Disney background. What am I going to do? Exactly. Well, it's it's uh, PG rated, I guess. That's right. That's right. We can cover the entire market there. So uh, what was it? Uh, 600 acres, did you say? Yeah, 750 acres, actually, that particular Yikes. property in Whitesville. And it is three homes, lakefront homes. It's actually the largest private lake in Kentucky at 60 acres. Um, there's rolling green space, there's wooded space, and there's 400 acres of cropland. Um, so it's quite a property. Um, we were brought in as Nashville Home Squad to help market it here in Middle Tennessee. The mm -hmm. agent in Kentucky, his name is Keevan Hayden. He is an EXP agent. He's the official listing agent on that property. Um, he's he's lives in that town and is promoting that now. Um, it's a quite a substantial property. We currently have it listed at twenty five million dollars. So it will take a, a, a special someone that may want to have that privacy and um, but also have the elegance and accessibility to major cities like, for right. example, Nashville. 
The reason we were brought in was the idea was to market it here. Maybe an artist, maybe a music executive might want to have that privacy, but still have access to the major cities because we're only two hours away from there. So promoting it, um, if anybody knows anyone that's looking for a a large property, could be for a family or um, potentially a, a developer could go in there and subdivide off those lots into five acres or more and have lakefront property to develop right. and sell. So there's right. many options there. Right. And I know you and I already talked about uh, another guest uh, from the show, uh, Julie Simpson, who was Oprah's, um, she did all of the uh, work for Oprah for something like 20 years and uh, did all of the home makeovers. So she's now an agent working in um, Nashville. Yes, um, I'm going to be reaching out to Ms. Simpson. I'll, I'll send you. I'll send you an e introduction. She's, That'd be great. Um, uh, she's new and and established. She's got uh, talk about secret sauce. I mean, working for Oprah all those years, she may very well know somebody who could purchase this property. Yeah. Um, that would be a great so, connection. Steve, what what would those houses, if there were new houses on five acres, be worth in that town? Um, I would say they'd be under a million dollars, I would imagine, in that particular town. Um, I, I Although, because I'm not the agent there, I don't know the exact numbers of what the houses might be, but I think they would be close to or under a million, depending on your square footage. And do we have many pictures of the existing house uh, to share? We do. Actually, if we scroll into that video a little bit, um, I could, I could, we could point out a little bit of but that. What do you think that house itself would be worth on, let's say, five, 10 acres? Yeah, that, that particular house is probably over a million dollars, I would say, the way it currently sits, because it is quite, quite luxury, um, I would say. So, again, I don't want to give it a value because I'm not the agent there. I don't know the Kentucky market um, exactly, but I will say it has those high end touches, like, for example, uh, heated floors in the in the owner's bathroom. You know, that's one of the things, um, a conditioned garage, um, a whole house generator, a uh, private pool, which you see in the listing video and the pictures. Um, it is just gorgeous. Um, they have exposed wooden beams that they built. They got from, I think, a, a local local barn of some kind from, you know, reclaimed wood. I mean, it's just a special, special place. There's a lot of those uh, stars and, and athletes. There's got to be athletes around there. That would yeah. that would like privacy, but One this thing is somebody. That it, it has its own small aircraft landing strip also at the property, so Another somebody help. could fly in and out of there and get to Nashville in an instant. Right. Yeah. And Nashville is where they're headed, but you know, um, it, it, private jet are is there space for a private jet to land? It in could that be, field? although the, the the particular runway that's there now is not long enough for an actual for a jet. I would say yeah. it's more that smaller aircraft. Uh, okay. versus a luxury jet but i think it could be built there's definitely enough space to expand the current um airstrip to yeah with seven it. with 700 acres you could probably extend something a yeah bit. i think they could <laughs> um that's really awesome so let's talk about your market just a little bit what are the uh it's a changing market right now we know that it's been a seller's market for so long um now you've got to come back as an agent with some actual marketing skills because it's being a little bit more competitive. You got to have yeah. things priced correctly and uh, you got to pay attention to the market. If people aren't coming to see you, you got to make changes. Absolutely. And marketing and kind of, is one we're of those. Seeing that. We're, yeah. we're seeing that. And, and you know, in, in those two particular listings that we shared, um, those listings, you know, two months ago, three months ago would have been gone, I think within two days or less, you know, yeah. and it seems like when August hit, we changed on a dime, you yeah. know, so I'll, I don't want to say, you know, we're not struggling by any means, but um, we are, we are having to work a lot harder to get people in the door and, and to get creative within our marketing. Um, I want to say so- that's it. I want to say that same thing differently. I think uh, buyers are having to work a little bit harder to get into there because with interest rates going up and and the inventory still being really, really low. Um, mm-hmm. And as we change from a seller's market to a buyer's market, sellers are thinking, I want to get what they got last month or the month before. And they're going on the market a little bit too overpriced. And if well, there's are- also the, uh, the problem where the sellers have... Um, 
either no mortgage or low interest mortgage. And if they go back to the market to buy, they're in the same environment as everyone else's. And uh, they may stay, which takes property off the market. Exactly. Shortage of inventory does not, you know, drop prices. You know, right. That's, that's where we're at. It's, right. I think right. I think we're going to level off for a while. Uh, and, and well, we should. You know, um, interest but rates. But a lot of the from- pundits say that the market's already, you know, down huge. It is in other countries, and 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 that's mainly because most countries do not have fixed rate mortgages. They they're almost all variable rate, and uh, like New Zealand, for example, went up 40, 50 percent in one year last year, and they're right back down to where they were last year because of the resetting of the mortgages. Do you know all that, the uh, all the owners there are in the same environment. They all have a reset. Do you, do you know the the Latin root for the word pundit is really for the court jester because they used puns and you know no that's not true at all. But what the hell is a pundit? You know it's it's like do they ever know? It's like people, the weatherman. People, people like you and me, Larry, we're pundits. <laughs> no, no, we're talk people. shop, huh? Is that what it is? People that like to talk shop. Uh, I always think of uh, uh, the talking heads Hoover or or Truman uh, said, you know, I talked to one economist and they says uh, this and I talked to another. And on the other hand, you kind of give me a a one handed economist, you know, because they're it's it's like it's this or that. And all we can look at, same with real estate agents, we can look at what happened before. But unless you're out on the street every day and and feeling it change, it changes every week. It really does. And and if you're not out there on the street feeling that, then you're not going to know where you have to position yourself. So I always tell people, go to open houses, talk to yeah. people, you know, get a feel for it. I'll have to say when dealing so with I, I'm I'm surprised, Steve. Um it's 700 acres there, 20 million dollars, right? Yeah, 25. Yeah. Why don't they bring a surveyor in, chop that sucker up and sell it off piece by piece and make they, they, they have it surveyed already, but they, they're trying to sell it as one large piece right now for somebody to come in and, and potentially buy it as a whole. But th- the survey has been done, it is chopped up. So we may have to get to that point and sell it off piece by piece. And each, and what would each lot go for at that point? Yeah, I don't know the answer to that. I'd hate to give you a, a bad answer on that because I'm just not familiar enough. That's uh, that, I'll give you a thousand dollars for a five acre lot. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Let's me make too. a deal. Yeah, uh, you want water view? <laughs> right. It's a beautiful lake. Well, you saw it there in the video. Um, yeah, it's really a beautiful property. Um, and if if somebody's looking for some privacy and but still access to, to cities like Louisville and Nashville and Owensboro. Um, it's a good place to call home. Let me ask you, uh, uh, you know, we are the exponential files. That's an EXP driven kind of show for you, Steve, what's been the best part of EXP since you've been around? It is this collaboration. I'll have to say like the willingness to work together, the willingness to help each other and, and teach each other. Also, the referral system that's in place has been right. a huge part of my business. Right. Where I was with the other another brokerage in the past, um, the internet referrals or the Facebook referrals would only go to one person because that's the only person that had a chance. Because <laughs> he yeah. would just get you know uh, refer or, or kept getting tagged and tagged and tagged. But here um, we have an opportunity, you know, right. and that's been a large part of our business this year is getting on those referrals, talking to those agents quickly. I mean, and giving them our value, you know, showing them what we can bring for their clients. So for me so far, that's some of the biggest things. Also, this ability to grow your team, right? So I'm in the team world. So we can easily put somebody in Knoxville, in Cookville, in Memphis, in in Chattanooga as we grow. Um, So we're not just one city based, right? We can grow. Yeah. All right. And and here's another more practical thing. Say you bring the buyer for that, uh, uh, big property. Um, when that closes, because you guys are both the same thing, your money is going to come right to you at the end of that. You're not going to have to wait, uh, until, you know, the check clears and all of that, because they have a system that, uh, you just send them the check 
it's a little more complicated than that. But, 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 anyway, but it, it, it does it does bring up a, a good question. OK, so this is an EXP exclusive listing, correct, Steve? Yes, it is. OK, let's say that Larry has a buyer and brings the buyer to you. Larry doesn't have a license in Kentucky. Yeah. You don't, but EXP does. Yeah. Can Larry get a 50% referral fee? Absolutely. Yes. Or bringing the buyer in? Absolutely. Wow. Would you 50%. allow Larry to market that property on his social media and wherever Larry yeah. markets? Absolutely. If Larry was to find, bring us a buyer. All right, Larry, you got yeah, your work cut out for you. Not the official listing agent, but I, I think I could. Speak yeah, to yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, um, well, well I, Steve yeah. said I could get 50% from you. I well, don't, I don't, if, if I brought the buyer, if I brought the buyer, it'd be the same deal. I'm not in yeah, Kentucky. Yeah. I'm in Tennessee, right? But if I bring yeah. that buyer to them and they, it, I would ask for that commission as a referral. Yeah. He, you know, right? a lot of times agents, you know, they, they say, well, I'm not licensed in Florida. Uh, you know, how does the, the commission work? Uh, can I get a full commission? I go ask for a 50% referral fee. Did anybody ever say you couldn't? Absolutely. If you don't ask for it, they'll probably say 25%, but ask for 50. You got the buyer. Well, especially you're bringing in the this market. Yeah. Right? You're bringing the buyer to that type of property. Absolutely. I All feel like that, that's let's, fair. Yeah. Let's, let's make a deal. Yeah. Kind of thing. This has been fascinating. The time goes by so quickly. Jim, Steve, can you else? play us out? <laughs> what do you I, want to hear? I actually do have the um, the uh, the thing here. Well, let me just play that for a second. Well, uh, this is the weird sound, so you get ready. Yeah, this is the uh, black hole. Can you hear it? I can't hear it. Can't hear it. Oh, well, I tried. <laughs> well, let's go from black hole to blackbird. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Exponential Files. Uh, Steve, it's been a pleasure to have you on here. And Thank you, uh, come back next week. We're going to have another great guest. And uh, I don't know, maybe uh, somebody who makes balloons or juggling or something. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it rolling. Thank yeah. you, Steve. It was great.